Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 92 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with a list of everything we're gonna need today and every single day of this challenge. Also a list of everything we're gonna need for the first 100 days. And also a list of some of the items we're gonna start using after day 100. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. Time for our first break. Ah, let's start a timer. For some reason, I'm forgetting the timer. <laughs> ah. All right, that felt good. First set, and I'm still sore from two days ago's exercise. I'm a little sore from yesterday's too, which is good. It means that this failure situation is going well. Uh, see, I'm still sore from the push-ups. And then with this hooks, which I happen to love now, <laughs> after using them a couple times now, definitely they're definitely worth it they're not just good at helping you target the muscles on the exercise but they also help you save your hands <laughs> uh, my hands are not that sore anymore I mean they're not sore at all which is kind of what I was looking for and on top of that the benefit of targeting your your back and your biceps it's amazing Whew. now if I had the option if I could think again well actually if I'm gonna buy another pair I will buy the ones that are with the hook backwards just to have the variety maybe test out those and see how that how those will work on a pull-up situation but these ones are amazing. I love them. They're comfortable, <laughs> like extremely comfortable, more, definitely more comfortable than what I thought they were going to be. And they fit perfectly. And when you're doing the pull-ups, it, it takes a little bit to adjust to the change of being disconnected from the bar. But after a couple of times, how many times I've used them? Uh, four times this is probably the fifth fourth or fifth time anyway after a couple times you definitely get to love these things and <laughs> when, when I try to do pull-ups without this uh, <laughs> I don't know I don't feel as comfortable or I don't feel like as efficient as I do with this thing now I love these things so will I recommend them yeah yeah definitely especially for beginners um, for someone that already knows what they're doing, they're probably beneficial too, especially if you're doing like weighted pull-ups or something that will put a lot of strain on your, on your wrist. This will probably be good too, but I'm not a professional, so <laughs> I won't be able to tell you if they're good for professionals too, but they feel like they're professional grade. Jeez, these things are good. I like them. Anyway, a few more seconds to go on our first break. Then we'll go back up to the bar, push it to failure again. <sighs> the only sad thing about this exercise is that uh, even though I went to failure, I'm not hot. I don't, I didn't get to sweat or get warm. And it's cold out here, really cold. 
just a couple more seconds to go. Then, I actually feel it, especially thanks to this thing. I feel the exercise. All right, let's take a little sip before we do our next set. Here we go. Time for a second break. Can't wait for springtime and summertime to come back. <laughs> working out here is cold. And then watch me. I'll be complaining about how hot it is to work, working out in the summer. Because <laughs> I'll be pretty much working out throughout the entire summer too. I mean, this 300 days series or challenge series. It's gonna go through winter time. It's gonna go through spring. It's gonna go through summer. And. I'm not sure if it's gonna go like right into fall. It's possible, I don't think so, but it's possible. I didn't do the math on that part. <laughs> and eight more days, so I can start using weights. Not saying I'm gonna stop doing push-ups, leg races and squats and lunges and all that stuff. It's just that I'll be using more weight, target the muscles a little more. Uh, start with the dumbbells. I will use the bar after a few days. But definitely we'll start with dumbbells because it's easier to escape the dumbbells if they fall than it is to escape the bar because I don't have a spotter. I can't go too heavy. I don't have a helper. So if I get pinned <laughs> under the under the bar, ah it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch. But not fun to be down there. So playing it safe as safe as I possibly can. I don't think you need an actual bar to work out your chest. I think the bar will be more useful for deadlifts or squats, even though those two exercises I'm going to avoid or leave them for later, later on. Because I do have a lower back condition that I do not want to revive same thing with my knees my knees they're fine now but if i start doing crazy squats uh, i'll be miserable <laughs> like really miserable all right just a few more seconds to go on our second break gosh Oh, these breaks are really long, but they're 
Looks that good. Get to recover some energy. So I can do more pull-ups. All right, time's up. Here we go. Time for a third break. Here we go. Third and last break. Oof. Gosh, goosebumps. <laughs> Many times I'm going to say, I guess every time I do pull ups, they're so freaking comfortable. That's what I like the most about them. They're comfortable. Okay, maybe not the thing I like the most, but that's definitely a plus that they are comfortable and they're helping my hands and helping me stay on the bar and focus on the pull ups. If you're falling alone from the beginning, staying on the stupid bar is the hardest part for me. Now the workout, the workout part is hard, but as workout is the point of working out. <laughs> it's pushing yourself. Other than that, this is these things are good. These things are gonna be with me for a long time. And if you can hear this, they are metal. <laughs> These hooks are metal. They, they will probably last me a, lot, a lifetime. <laughs> I'm glad they are not made out of plastic. So, uh, when I was buying this online, there, there was my mental debate in my head either the metal hooks or these straps are like leather. Uh, just put the leather part over your palm and then hang on the bar. I was, I was debating either those or this. I don't know which ones I uh, wanted better. I don't think you can go wrong, but definitely this ones. This ones, I made the right decision with this one. <laughs> this stood out the most. They are definitely, definitely durable. All right. We have a few more seconds to go. Actually, it's over a minute still. <sighs> and then we're gonna hang, do our last set, and call it a day. I was saying at the beginning of the video, I can still feel the push-ups that I did the other day. The easy push-ups, inclined. <laughs> oh, that's a good day. Whew. So after this set, I'm gonna get inside the house and finish the exercise with a little bike ride. <laughs> a little stationary bike ride, just to keep the blood flowing and burn at some extra calories before I put some calories in because I'm gonna be eating good stuff today. Woo.
Come on, just a couple more seconds. And that's it. There we go. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.